What up everyone, Zonobar here coming at you with another video, another episode of Moves actually, I think it's going to be episode 3 of this series, and today I want to react and comment and analyze a play from TSM Svenskeren, so the, the jungle for Svenskeren, as a mid laner, the clip is titled Bjergsen isn't even the best mid in TSM, which is just a joke of course, but the move is so interesting that I really wanted to show it to you and just give you the lessons you should take away from them because it's very very important. So let's watch it, I will just like, just say what what's happening and then we can go back to it, throw some slow motion uh, and just tell you a little bit more about it. But first make sure you subscribe to this video and make sure you like it if you liked it at the end. And let's get into the video. So right now Bjergsen is playing Castle Pia, by the way. He's level 9 in a very dominating, dominating game. He's not fed personally, but there's 8-1 for, for his team. He's 1-1 with a decent farm for 12 minutes. Uh, he does have Tier of the Goddess uh, and the Catalyst Protector and some MR. He's not super fed. He has 24 AP. And right now he went to ward the enemy jungle. And Xerath saw him, Xerath has the blue buff, he has he has full mana, he has the double summer spell, he has all his spells actually, and he's going to go back to his mid lane. Right now we have vision on the Ramus because he's his ally, we don't have the vision on the enemy jungle. So, he's going to try to get back into lane without getting poke, and Xerath is just not going to let him do that. Like, he's going to throw a stun, he's going to he's going to strafe, the Q's coming in, and then we see Olaf coming in from, I want to say, this area, or like the Drake area. We're just like this area here where it was not warded. So Olaf is coming in. The ultimate goes off. So to bait Castle Bear into not using HP. Castle Bear is going to ult Zeraf, but not going to put enough damage. The heal is used from Castle Bear. Ramus comes into the fight. Ramus puts the taunt on Zeraf. Castle Bear can burst on the back lane. She flashes the Q spell and gives the kill on Olaf. So. I want to actually go back to this move. I think it was an amazing move that... It was an amazing move. It was a, it was a good move for solo queue and stuff, and for for a player that is his job is to play jungle. You can see that he's skilled uh, with his moves. The reason why I want to show this the, this moves, guys, in this in the series is that this is a really good lesson, and I feel like most of players in solo queue that have like a lower elo or they're kind of insecure of like dropping an elo or just not confident as a player, they would have just like flashed away at this point, like they would have probably, well, if you take the stun whatever, but they would probably flash away, like here you would have freaked out and you would flash away. Right now, as a pro gamer, as he knows what he's doing, he, he knows he has three stacks of potions. He knows he has ult. He knows that he has double buff. Uh, double summer spell, sorry. So he's not going to flash out instantly, right? Like, he doesn't see an instant threat of actual death. I'm sure he knows that Remus is kind of close by. And you're going to see that the first thing he's going to do is ping. He's going to ping. He's going to be like, I need your help. Remus, I need your attention. And Remus is straight up from the wolf. Not even going to the blue buff, which is going to repop soon. Not even going to the bot lane or whatever. Not even going over there to the red buff. He's just going to go straight to mid lane. So, he has the reflex of telling his teammates, Okay, shit is going to go down. I need help. Come come to me. And I will try to tempo as much as I want. Right now, the Cassiopeia is going to focus on uh, strafing uh, all the spells from Xerath. And overall try to kite just to resist in, um, and just get a significant, a significant amount of HP. So, But he does not that he has heal in case or just flash in case. But he wants to get a 2v2. Like he actually wants it. So right now he's just going to kite. He's going to get a Q spell just to get the bonus moving speed. And he's going to turn around to put an ultimate on Xerath right now. So the stun doesn't last super long, obviously he's level 9, but it's just, it's buying him time so that his W here is kind of, uh, it's not super good, it's not the best, but it actually builds some kind of wall and it's interesting. It's an interesting W, I think he just put it like that, but it's not the base placement of course. And so yeah, Xerath is buffed, uh, Ramus is still between the two turret, but he has a Q spell so he's going to come fairly quickly, and Castlevania hasn't even reached. 50% um, HP right now. Notice that he used the potion as well. Like this is super important. Players in solo queue, me my, myself as, as well. Like I make those mistakes um, a lot. Not not that much anymore because I feel like I've learned from this mistake. But I don't use my potion in fight 
And this is so important. Like, you never know what's going to happen. Like, right now, he doesn't have Grieving Hans. He doesn't have, like, anything reducing his healing. So, using a potion when the start is when the fight is starting, not only it's the Corrupted Potion, so it gives him, like, more damage, but just the overall health regeneration and even mana regeneration. In this case, it's not important, but the health regeneration is just... It just adds up. And in situation where someone leaves with 10 HP or, like, 5 HP or something like that, this is what makes the difference like this is the 5 hp the 10 hp comes from the potion you started when the fight was about to start so let's play a little bit the video ramus is about to come as you see like he he was oh actually he sidestepped to the to the right side of the jungle and then he was like oh fuck ready my attention notice that gas gaston like his name or his screen he only pinged once he literally pinged once and then he just focused on his play so this is also a good lesson when something is happening, you just ping once or twice, but don't focus your entire attention into getting your um, ally attention. Like, you don't want that. You're, you're a champion, you can fight yourself, you can defend yourself. Say you need help once, if he doesn't help you, he doesn't help you. He's wrong not to help you, right? Because the 2v2 is obviously, like, uh, takeable or winnable. Uh, but at least you told him to come, and then you just shift your focus into fighting, into strafing, into flashing, into healing, into just doing the job. But don't spam like, oh my god, come, fucking jungle, like, no, don't do that. Like, that, that that would not help you, that would not help the team, and then you're just gonna become toxic in the chat, and no one wants that. So he's still kiting, he doesn't take the Q spell here, he's very good. Honestly, like, he... I don't think Zerai touched one Q spell the entire fight, so he's gonna use healing right now. Notice that he doesn't use healing with... He doesn't use healing when he's like super low HP, he uses it to just maintain himself to a 50% range of health. This is also super important. I feel like low elo players or just uh, uh, like lower elo players, which means like from anywhere from bronze to even diamond 5, people tend to use the heal uh, at the last second, like oh I'm about to die so I'm gonna use heal. It's the same thing that I see with the Kale ultimate, the one that makes you invisible. People use it usually when they're about to die and they're gonna have 1 HP, they're gonna be like invincible. Whereas this is the obvious answer to when to use this, when to use the hill, it is actually not the, the right solution. Use the shield when you're about to get bursted for Kale. Use the hill to maintain yourself at a comfortable situation in health so that you can tell your, your players, okay, like I'm actually healthy, like I can do this. It is super important, like, you guys need to understand that the heal isn't something you need to use when you have 0 HP and about to die. It's also something that helps you maintain a certain, like, level of health. So here, he uses it just to keep himself at 50% HP, it gives him plus 200 out of 1300 health, and Ramus is about to come. So right now, we can see that he, he used his, um, his heal, so once Ramus is down, and he didn't have like the enemy team didn't have enough damage like obviously he did a really good job strafing every Q of Xerath. Xerath was absolutely useless in this fight and he has blue so he has high CDR and Olaf was just doing his best but well he doesn't do a lot of damage early on and Cassiopeia was just able to tank also also Cassiopeia has a fair amount number of uh, health with the catalyst protector and a fair number of uh, movement speed with the Q and also, I wanted to say, um, I wanted to say something else. I forgot. Uh, what did I say? Okay, I forgot. Whatever. So he's gonna go back. So this is also important. When sorry if I just put like one second, one second. Uh, I showed you the play before. I, I just want to like cut it, like cut it in, in second by second. It's also important to go towards the jungle. So right now, when the fight started over here, he could have run uh, to the river. He could have run somewhere else. But he, I'm pretty sure he looked at the minimap. Oh no, he, he asked for help with the ping. He looked at the minimap and he went towards it. You, I think there's it's that or he just went towards his turret to be safer and flash away. But it's also, I think, a way to reunite with the jungle, Ramus, and just to be to have a closer 2v2. And right now you're going to see how Cassiopeia is going to fight, but she's going to pause for three seconds, I want to say two or three seconds, just so that the enemy gets their attention to Ramus and not him. And that's really, really smart of him. So right now he backs off, right? He backs off, he takes a Q spell, he misses it. He steps away, like he steps away. He doesn't like go here. He's not here right now, he's here. He's not here, he's here. 
If he was here, he probably kind of could have been focused by Olaf and Zeref, but he's here. He wants people to get the attention onto Ramus so that, like, he can just DPS and be like a backlane DPS, right? So the taunt goes onto uh, Xerath, Olaf is fairly low right now, so his passive is super, super strong. And right now, what do you want to do? Damn, that looks so sick, what the hell? The lighting bolts, that looks amazing, wow. What a pause right here. And, by the way, sorry for all the sponsors, this is like TSM logos, like whatever, th th those are the partners of TSM, but... Uh, Right now, the focus... Olaf shouldn't have gone there. I feel like this is a bad decision for him. He should just left his teammate at this point. But here, how do you want to go back to Cassiopeia? How do you want to go back to Cassiopeia? Like, Ramus just got all the attention. The R is on. The taunt is on. Everything is just on him. Damn, that looks so sick, bro. And then, boom. And that's it. So, he's going to flash the Q... W, which wouldn't have killed him. I don't think that was a necessary flash. But notice that... Cassiopeia used his Vesgrain, he used a second potion, even his third potion, because he knew that the fight was going to last. But he still had, just think about the buff of regeneration of health during this fight, how, how just buffed it was just because of him pressing a button of the potion. He, I don't, I, I wish I could do the math right now, I really wish I could do the math to convince you that it's so, so, so important. But the health he accumulated during this I want to say 20, 30 second fight with two potions is huge. It's huge. It makes a difference. I promise you guys, it makes a difference. So make sure you pay attention to your wards. Make sure you use them. Make sure you have a binding for them and you always have the same one. For me, it's two. One for Zonia, two for potion, three for ward. It's always been like that. And then they're just going to get the kill. So they get the kill on Zerath with the flash. This flash is kind of like, I just want to make plays type of shit. Uh, I don't think he was going to die, because obviously Zerath didn't have a lot of damage. I'm not sure what build he has, we can't really see it in this video, but I don't think he was going to die from the QW move. It's always safe, it's always safe though, like there's no there's no shame on it. And then they're going to get the kill on uh, Olaf, who's just going to die here. I thought he was going to go south, to be honest, and he's going to say, oh I missed my fucking Q, whatever. Uh, it's okay, like you're going to miss, with Kassipia you can miss your Qs obviously, but... It was, it's just so interesting to see how, even though you miss your Q, even though like things don't go well, uh, let, let's play that again, I want to make sure I didn't miss anything, but it's just funny, like, he doesn't hit his all, all his Qs, right? But Kasupia is a champion that allows you to have a low CD on your Q, so it's, it's not really much, but the bonus of movement speed is huge for him. So, the lowest he's been at, is at 400 health, and like, I love, the shift of focus is so good. And it's also, it's also the the characteristic of a Ramus, right? Ramus is really good at catching people's attention. He always has his targetable, targetable uh, taunt, right? So that was it for this move, guys. I hope you liked it. Just the thing you have to take away from this is a: make sure you initiate when you feel like a fight is coming. Don't instantly flash out. Just consider what's happening. Consider watch your minimap one second, just like you were watching your rear view mirror on your car. Watch where the jungle is. If it's close enough, ask for help with the ping. Ask for help with the ping anyway. But if the jungle is near, especially if it's a Ramus that can go fast from one point to another, uh, consider not flashing out and just abandoning the fight and just like not taking any conflict in the match. Consider your strength and your weaknesses at every situation and just assess it. Assess it. Like, can I take this fight? No. Can I take this fight? Yes. And just do it. Make a decision, but do it. I personally make this video because I feel like too many players ask this situation and they just freak out and say, no, I can't take this fight, flash out, hail out, get the fuck out. I want to teach you guys how to be more confident in your gameplay and your skills because, of course, the next five team fights you'll do mistakes, but then you'll just catch on skills and mad skills and mad skills. What he did here, was very, what Venskaren did here isn't really hard. I, I, really, I, I promise you, it's not super hard what he did. It's just ask for help, kiting. The whole strafing of Zeref is really skilled. Like this is this is hard to do, right? But it's something you can learn, and you can learn to capitalize on the movement speed uh, bonus from Cassiopeia Qs and all that stuff. And the second thing I want to take, uh, the third thing. So the second thing was assess the data and make sure you know when you can take a fight or not. And the third thing is uh, the first thing was wait. The first thing was potion. The second thing was assess the data just to know if you can take a fight or two. And the three is the use of summer spells like when you ha when you know you have summer spells know what what they can do when you have your heal 
For example, don't use it when you have 1 HP, use it to maintain yourself at 50% HP. If you know that a team fight will prolong itself, and the flash, don't use it instantly. Like, don't use it instantly. Just be confident in your move, and, and you should be fine. Hopefully, guys, you learned something out of this video. I thought it was an amazing play from a random streaming session from uh, TSM's Vince Curran. I just liked it, so I, uh, I just watched the clip, and I was like, I have to show you guys... Uh, this and hopefully you can learn from it. I usually do moves on LCS or LCK uh, stuff just to teach you from the pros. I thought he was a programmer and I thought it was an interesting move. So if you guys liked it, show it to your friends, show it to your mid laner or your Cassiopeia player friends. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and join us on the squad. I'll see you for the next video tomorrow, guys. Peace. Okay, it's rap pack to my pulse flat. We keep it real, no false rap. I got four cards and they all black. Got four bras and they all that. We call that balling. And this is my calling Flow is so appalling My phone off and she calling I'm like, yeah, what it do? Penthouse, man, what a view Fall back as I'm coming through With my whole team, they coming too That's real